Okay. Uh, so for today, uh, we are going to look at uh, just to introduce uh, some of the basic knowledge which you might need uh, for today. Yeah, for today's for this week's uh, problem set. So the previous week for week one, we were focusing you know, most on arrays uh, and strings. So I know like uh, people, you know, they're working uh, on the problems or at least the submission right after this. Uh, then people, you can like submit the, the five like uh, uh, dot .py uh, files, which you downloaded from the course website. And then later tonight, we'll release like the second round of problems. And I encourage people to just like, you know, to reach out for for office hours uh, if they like start with uh, with any problem. And then we can like, yeah, try to work it together. So today, after this lecture, I'll just have like so much time where like people they can like just come and ask the individual questions or maybe yeah, with someone as a pair where we can just work through uh, the questions just to give you uh, a solid idea on how to work through like questions with arrays and this. But today I want to uh, touch on like just uh, linked uh, lists and then just defining you know like what a, link, a linked list is uh, the API for a linked list, and then we're also going to look at uh, at stats and uh, queues. Okay, uh, because I feel like uh, if we understand these three things, you know, like understanding them, understanding their runtime, it becomes easier for us to, yeah, it becomes easier for us to basically like know how to. Yeah, how to use them, you know, when we're solving our problems. For example, some of the questions uh, which were there in uh, in the first uh, problem sets, some of them they are easier to they are easier to to implement, like if you know how to use a stack, yeah, and all that. So let's um, yeah, let's uh, yeah, get started. So I'll most like I'll just try to, you know, like explain more of it just here, and then we we'll just switch to the laptop just to to look more at the code. But I think we can like even if we're like writing the code on a piece of paper or writing it on a laptop, as long as it's just code, then you know, like yeah, everything will be okay. So if you have any questions, you can like ask me in the chat. Uh, at any time, and then that would be, yeah, I'll answer them, or you can unmute and then ask me a question, yeah, that way we can all move along together, okay. Okay, so um, I think let me start with uh, with link list, okay. So uh, with linked lists, what we have is we have uh, something which would, I can kind of describe it as, uh, it's an ordered uh, collection of, uh, it's an ordered collection of values. Uh, and these values, you know, they, they may, um, okay, let me just put it, uh, you know, the values you know, they may include uh, repetitions. So it's not like set in stone that you know, maybe like all the elements should be distinct. Like, you know, they can just have, you know, whatever you, you decide uh, yeah, to put there. So for linked lists, you know, they're like, uh, there are different types, for example, like, uh, we have like uh, a single uh, link list. So a single link list is uh, it's a so this all these three like you know they're like data structures. 
that are saying linked list is this data structure which contains you know the sequence of nodes uh, such that it node uh, contains an object basically like you are the sequence of nodes is just like you know, it's just one thing connected to another so let me just write it down like you know just a sequence of nodes yeah i think i should uh, highlight notes there because that's where i like yeah that's how i keep them all right here so uh so but why do you call it a single link list because uh it has a sequence of nodes you know such that uh each node uh so each node uh, contains uh, an object, you know, an object maybe like that's where you, you know, you might store like value inside the node. For example, if you're storing, like, you know, for example, data can be in some sort of like string or it's an object or it's yeah, some other thing can even be a function, all know that no functions, everything basically yeah, is an object. So it has an object, but then it also has um, an uh, reference you know, to the next node. Uh, yeah, okay, in the list. So, yeah, this is just like you know, the, yeah, the, yeah, the easier like uh, definition. So like uh, in in our single link list, you know, like the, uh, yeah, we we refer like you know like the 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 first. Uh, like we refer like the first node you know as having uh a head and also we refer to like for example if we have uh, let's say we have you know this node okay so let me like you know write it uh this way okay so these are like two nodes okay let me make them three so what we have is let's say i want to store you know the first three natural numbers so i can have it as uh one and two and three okay so these three nodes uh these three nodes they just represent like you know they they, they have information but now if i then want to join them in some sort of a sequence uh this is the head you know of this node and then this uh we have the tail right there so you can like join this one uh is a reference to what to this next node and then this one is also like you know another reference to it's a reference to the yeah, to the next uh node okay so yeah i think that's uh so we also have, you know, like um, we also have uh, like okay, we had like the single link list. We also have uh, double uh, link list. So I think this is just mid like review for some people, but uh, yeah, don't lose heart. You know, for example, if you think that okay, this might look just yeah, yeah too easy, yeah, but it's. Um, yeah, it will, it will all make sense soon. So a double link list, for example, you know that's okay. All right, by just like looking at that, you can expect that uh, uh, you basically kind of have, uh, if you have a node, no, and then uh, let's say uh, this one, it's, um, okay, let me use a different color. Okay, this one. So maybe this is four, then this is three, and then this is five. And then 
from here there is a reference to this node and then uh, also from here there's a reference to it to this one okay so that's the same thing here you can like reference to the previous one and also like you can reference it to this one so by just having it, it just allows you know for yeah it just allows for like for more yeah, for more use for example like you know if you're like you can go back and you can go forth by just like uh looking at that data structure okay okay so uh let's let's try to like for example uh just go through like you know how how will you define so these are defined for example as classes so if we have um, uh, how can we define for example maybe let's start with uh, a single link list uh how can we define the api uh how can we represent a node uh for example uh what do you guys think in the chat Okay. Oh, oh no. Okay. Uh, what's a not? I was a little too late. So if you could do that, okay, okay, definitely. So uh, a not uh, by a not, we're actually like just referring to. Okay, yeah. Okay, I think maybe that's what I think defined there. So let me define what just a not is. Okay. So a node uh, just represents, um, uh, for example, like in this case, it's uh, what what we have is we just have this, just you can think of it as a bound uh, a bundle of just information, uh, and which can keep track of the next other one. So uh, let me just say like. Um, can think of it as a box you know, like oh and then inside that box you can find information but then that box also has a reference to you know, the next uh you know to where to find like the next box or something like that so we're going to see like right now we're going to write the code for example to define for example how we're going to like represent uh the idea of a node and then from there uh let me just okay. So, for example, if we have a class, let's call it uh, the list uh, not. Okay. So, this is how, like, you know, you, you define, like, you, you initialize uh, with, with the class. So, each, so this. Uh, not just you know like uh, for for like the the single uh, link is not so focus on that the top ones I won't dwell on them that much so we can like just initialize you know like uh, the init method so this is just like you know object oriented programming where we're just you know maybe like giving it uh, the data. You know, which by default we can just uh, we can just set to be equal to zero, and then we can also like give a next, which by default to be none. Okay. So what this uh, does, okay, I have to put on two dots here, is uh, we then like initialize self dot data to be equal to 
the data. So the data is the information which is stored by the node. So this is a node. Uh, it keeps track of the information data. You can store whatever you want to this data. You can store people's names. You can like store even like the, the, the names of a file where like you, know, you can go and like read more information. And then a node also has to keep track of uh, of the next because you know, we have to represent them as a sequence of nodes in a linked list. So it has to remember its own information and at the same time, it also has to, rem to remember which node uh, follows it uh, in the sequence. So that's why we have this self uh, dot next, which is uh, not, uh, we initialize it yeah, as, as next. Okay, so um, when you are answering uh, questions uh, like uh, about um, about about linked lists, so there are two types two types uh, of problems, you know, which uh, interviewers might ask you. So the first one is, uh, you know, they can just say implement. They can say implement your own uh, list, you know, and then uh, the other ones, for example, they can just say like, you know, use, you know, the exploit, uh, the standard list library, and then uh, when you explore the standard list library, you know, it's like solve, yeah. Uh, some some problem, for example, just like use the already uh, defined uh, standard library. To like uh, solve a problem, okay. So like yeah, sometimes like interviewers, I'm like okay, oh how do you how do you do this or how do you do that? Okay, so like let's um, let's uh, what are the common things which they might ask you? For example, if they say implement when you're implementing uh, your own list, they might ask you to implement uh, some uh, basic uh, you know implement some basic API, uh, some basic. API, for example, they might ask you to like uh, implement search, you know, like, oh, how will you, if you are given uh, this like uh, linked list, for example, uh, this one, if you're given this linked list, how can you search for a value? Okay. And then um, you can like people search or you know, they can also like tell you, oh, how can you insert, you know, like a new value or, you know, how can you like maybe even like, you know, delete, yeah, how can you delete, uh, how can you delete a value? So, um, yeah, th yeah th those are the things, for example, which, uh, you know, which you might, uh, which you might have to, uh, to work on. Okay, so any questions, any questions, any questions? Okay. Okay. Okay, no, okay, no questions. Okay. Okay, but like using cash. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no further questions. Okay, so uh, let's like look at an example, for example. Um, how can you, yeah, how can you search uh, for a key, let's say, you know, we have uh, 
a function called uh, search. You know, it has to search our, our linked list. So what it takes, it takes in the linked list called L, you know, and then maybe it takes in the key. Okay. So uh, by key, for example, like, you know, we want to search if this key exists. Uh, by key, we're meaning like, you know, the, is, uh, is there a node whose uh, data field is equal to what to key. So now uh, a linked list, you know, uh, is uh, is basically like you know a, a, a list of nodes. So what in this case uh, our L will be, you know, our L points to the first to this first one, you know, which is which is the head. Okay. So when you pass in a linked list, you know, it represents a collection of nodes. So it keeps track, you know, it knows which one is, is the first. So if I say, okay, search through this linked list, you know, for a key. So basically we know, let me just uh, copy this so that I can reuse it to figure things out. Okay, copy it and then paste it here. Best. Okay. So yeah. So the last one, since no, it has not tell, we just like cross it out like this. So, yeah, there is no next. Okay. So if you are searching for a key and you you are given the linked list, uh, you know, uh what happens is you know you you want to first search. Uh, for example, like, you know, if since L points to this node, you know, it points to the first node, which is the head. So you first want to check if, uh, you know, like, uh, if, if, um, yep, you, yeah, you want to search, for example, if, uh, yeah, if, if a key, yeah, exists, you know, maybe like, let's say you return, um, you, you know, you return that, you return that, uh, you return true or you return false. Okay. So now uh, you can like, for example, you can like have, uh, have a way, a variable which you can use to keep track of that, whether, you know, like something is true or false. But what we need right now is uh, a while loop you know, like, uh, okay, let's say if we say while, you no, know, while the linked list is not none, you know, like if there's still like some node in there and, um, and okay, let's say maybe if for each uh, data, you know, you know that, okay, that's not equal to our key. So what we want to do is we just want to keep on uh, changing the pointer of the list to add to become the next. So for example, in this case, uh, we're just saying like, oh, okay, we're just looking, L points to this node. So, you know, we just check for what we have and then like if we're searching, then if it's not there, then we just move the pointer to point to this next one. So it now if you have moved the pointer to point to this next one, uh, for example, like we're like okay, uh, the data is not is not equal to the key, so we want it to move to move to the next one. Um, so if it also like looks at this uh, maybe not, and then it tries to see if this data is equal to what we are searching for, and then if you know, yeah. Better question. It's a uh, Arnold uh, making a. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, like uh, yeah, if we look, I was explaining this part. 
So if you are searching, for example, then you know that, okay, you don't find what you're looking for here. Then you can like use this line, this L is equal to L dot next. What it just changes, it changes the pointer. You know, so like uh, in this, for the next one, you know, the pointer can also change from here. It can also point to that. And then until, you know, now when your pointer points to the next one, which is uh, when it points to the next one, which is escalating none, then you know that none is a false value, so it won't keep on moving. So like uh, most of the, you know, like uh, doing like maybe searching through a list or maybe you want to insert uh, a new node, for example, if we were to look at an example of inserting, uh, insert uh, after, no, uh, let's say like, you know, you are given uh, a node, okay. And then you are also given a new, a new node. Okay. And then we are just saying, okay, just insert this node. Maybe let's say the linked list is, uh, a thousand elements and then we give you like one of the nodes which is like just right there in the middle but then we're like oh just add you know insert a new element so just think of it for example how you might represent a linked list let's say the data in the linked list represents uh students who are enrolled in a class you know maybe they are sorted you know by uh some like name or some id number but then i just want you to like could, yeah, you know, add a new student who just be added right after, you know, like some other, yeah, some other like student. So now having like this node, the reference one, for example, let's try to, to look at it. Okay, so let's say this is the, you know, this is the, the node uh, which I have, you know, and then, uh, So this node, it, uh, it was connected to that one and that one was connected to that one. No, it was, it was a, a sequence. And then now, if I say, okay, now I'm giving you uh, a new node. Okay. And then uh, I'm like, okay, so this is the new node. So if I tell you to insert this new node after this, uh, what do I mean? Like basically I'm saying, take this pointer and let it point to this one. And then now this new node, make it point to this one, like you no, know, which the, this node was actually pointing to. So uh, if you're solving most of the questions, you know, which have to deal with like, especially in code, linked list, data structures, it's always easier. The reason why I have to use this is it's easier to always sketch, you know, write it down the problem which you are trying to solve. So if you just take your laptop and then you just go straight, you know, on like some screen and all, it becomes hard for you to like to see it. So like, you know, sketch it right now, if you can interview, if you are interviewing with an interviewer and uh, maybe let's say you can also connect, let's say you have an iPad, you can also connect it maybe you know, on the Zoom call to explain your reasoning, use everything because uh, before uh, COVID, you know, like they'll fly you to their offices and then you get to like write the code on a whiteboard. So even if you are solving the problem which I'm giving you, you have to have a piece of paper and pen to really like make sense, you know, of what this or of what this is going on. So, for example, if we look at this one, how do we insert the new node? So, uh, if if we if we if we if we start by saying, uh, uh, okay, if we start by saying, for example, if we start by taking this green one and putting it here. Okay, that's, uh, let me just remove this one. Okay, so if we start by taking this green one and then uh, 
would take it so that it points to this node by saying uh, node dot next is equal to new node. Okay. What happens is you dev would would have lost uh, the pointer to this one. So it would be hard for us to retrieve this uh, to retrieve this node because now we can't access it. So that's why, like you know, even like how you're writing your code. Uh, okay, let's let's go back. So now we have to first make sure that uh, before we before before you remove before you remove this before you remove this uh, yeah light green uh, node this pointer. We first have to make sure that this new node somehow points to that one. Then we can now, you know, like change this green one to point to this one so that the sequence is what is maintained. So now we can start, for example, like our yeah, our code, we can start by saying, okay, the new node, since we know that the all nodes they are constructed, you know, using our um, our list node uh, API. So we know that it has the data and it has the next. So now we, what we want to change is we want to change the next field uh, of the new node to point to what, uh, but okay, what, what should it point to? You should point to this one. Uh, you should point to this one. But how do we know that it's actually pointing to this one? We know that we can get to this one from what from the node. Uh, what's this one? If you go to node and you look at the next element in the node, it refers to this ten node. So that's where we just say it is called what node dot next. So basically, like uh, this, uh, what you're saying, like this. You know, we're now assigning it to be equal to, to that. Okay. Yeah. And then now, uh, if we do that, then this moves here, yeah? this pointer. And then now you can then now reassign uh, node.next. Now you can just say node.next. Uh, you are now assigning it a new value to be called what to be called to new node. Okay, so then now uh, what you would have done is just you have uh, moved this thing. No, it was there, so you have moved it to come and point to this one. So if you straighten this out, what you've done is you've basically like uh, yeah included like a node. Or sometimes they might also say, oh. How can you like, um, how can you delete, uh, delete maybe let's say, they're just saying, oh, just delete a node, you know, which is after, which is after, after node, okay. So how, how can we then like, let's say now I want to delete this new node. Now it's like, you know, it's all one sequence is connected it's all connected like this. But now let's say I want to delete that. How do I delete it if I'm just given this node? So like basically like, okay, we can see that uh, you can just say, okay, in order to delete this, you know, you just have to assign, you know, like uh, the next value uh, you know, of this node to be called what? To yeah, to you want to assign it to to the next one, for example, like yeah, I can just say no node dot next. So node dot next right now it points to new node. So I can assign it to point to something different by pointing to what to node dot next dot what dot next. So uh, when you when you do that, basically, like what you what you are saying is, uh, in that example, we are just taking this one, 
you know, and then you're just pointing it directly to the other one because from looking at the knot, this is your knot, but the knot dot next is this pointer which points to new to new knot. And then what you are saying is you are saying let this pointer actually point to where not dot not dot next is pointing to. So not dot next points to this new node. And then dot next uh, is a pointer from new node pointing to this to this one. And then now you're just saying okay, just move you know, and by, like we have included that out of them to indicate that okay, that's how you be processing it. So you know, like they can like just ask you like you know those random questions uh, in your interview. Okay, and I'll be uh, putting questions which will be, you know, which will push you to like also like implement some of these things and also like solve some really interesting problems by, uh, yeah, targeting like yeah, this uh, this API. Okay. So now, of course, like, you know, the big, the big uh, problem, like the big thing which like we now focus on is, you know, uh, the, the time complexity. You now the time complexity. Uh, yeah, or also like, you know, the space complexity. Uh, for every data structure, you know, which you use, we have to like, I uh, know. Um, so like, for example, if we, if we saw like, uh, if we're looking at uh, when we're inserting, you know, when we're inserting, or maybe when we're also deleting, you know, when we're given a new node, we saw that, you know, that was like more of a constant time. So, you know, like insert and delete, you know, given a node, given a node, you know, uh it's what is constant uh time complexity okay but just yeah yeah like you're looking at that but then uh uh for searching i think we did we finish the code okay for searching uh i didn't finish let me just put these dots for example you can like based on like where like if you want it to be true or not, you can basically like if I say, let's say, okay, let me just say return. Okay, you return the link list, you know, when it is, yeah, you know, if the key is not present, then L, L will be open on. So if you are searching for, for something in order to search, if a key is actually there, which means you have to searching requires you to traverse uh searching if you are searching for the thousand like the best is you can have it as the first element or as the last element so and also that you're searching will be sure you know it requires you to traverse by traverse meaning like you know to go through the entire list the entire list Okay, so let's assume that you know if our link listed at, at n elements, then searching will, will take what you have to go through each node once to verify if the key yeah was there. So now the time complexity is what it's um yeah it's uh it's all m uh, time complexity for searching. So they might ask you to like, oh, implement how you can search. Um, so even next week, next week we'll be looking at trees and graphs, for example, like we'll be looking at a B tree, you know, like the binary search tree and all. So usually like the interviewer they can ask you, how can you do a pre-order traversal or an in-order traversal? And they'll, they'll, they'll then ask you, you know, what's the time complexity? So these are most of the questions that like, you know, just implementing the, the basic uh, API. So any questions, any questions? Uh, can you, can you touch on like some, like uh, 
creating like dummy notes and then how to use those like maybe in solving some of the questions. I don't have like an example of a question, but I just how to like create dummy notes and then how to use dummy notes. And then also um, like they say, uh, removing duplicates from a list note. How, how do you do that? Mm, okay. So yeah, uh, dummy notes, they are, you know, like yeah, sometimes called as, um, like yeah, they're given this name called uh, Sentinel. Just write it here. Dummy nodes, nice. Okay. Sentinel. Sentinel. Yeah. So it's uh, uh, you know, like uh, yeah. Sometimes, like you know, uh, you can like just use them to, you know, if you want to avoid for example having to check for for empty lists so they it's basically like it's uh you know like you can have some how do i so i want to like explain it more in the concept of single list without like using uh the double uh, recycling neckling list but um your question with uh for example uh with uh with duplicates so you, like you're saying like oh for example like how can we uh remove a duplicate from a from a list uh let's say like with a linked list node and then yeah we want to remove like if the two nodes like have the same data value and then we just want to delete uh the duplicates if like put notes if the same data file or something like that. Oh okay. So like uh if you have two two nodes and then they have the same data value, you want to delete one of them. So yeah how how will you uh approach for example like yeah, tracking uh, if one tracking which value you want to delete. So you want to go through all let's say uh, you have a linked list with maybe uh, 100 values and maybe let's say there are like 19 of those values they are duplicated more than once or two or three times um yeah how do you so you're asking how do you get to to track that yeah this okay. guy yeah, I think it, yeah, I think it depends. For example, in that case should be like, if it's just like, for example, like, you know, that only one value was actually like, uh, like if you know your list, you only had one value, maybe, which was, they tell you that there is just one duplicate. Uh, or you can have like so many values. So like, I like approaching these problems most like there are different ways of approaching them by also like uh, leveraging on like using, for example, some other data structure. Because right now I'm just trying to think of like, you know, the way in which you can like store, you know, and keep track of, okay. And how, how would you also like know, for example, like, okay, maybe let's say you are moving through, like moving through the entire linked list with an element. Uh, somehow you have to, kind of keep track of of some knowledge for example of the for example if you had uh, element uh, let's say from one you know it connects to two uh, and then it connects to n minus one it connects to n so if you had uh, element n minus one so this if this is a duplicate, like, you know, if the element uh, in here is a duplicate, the, your possible space, basically we have, uh, basically you have, uh, you have uh, at least, you know, like N minus one possible, possible nodes, like all the previous nodes, you know all they have like a likelihood of containing an element like let's say if you know that this one is a has a duplicate 
So now uh, tracking it, uh, tracking all of them, for example, like this one might have a duplicate. So I think uh, now based on how, for example, like an interviewer might uh, ask you the question so that it gets like narrowed down, uh, they can maybe like simplify it by saying, uh, maybe like, oh, there's only one, you know, which is a duplicate. And then you can, I don't know, like how you can like uh, uh, keep track of that. Like just thinking it yeah, from the top of my head. Oh, yeah, because I'm just looking at this and I'm like, just a possibility. If this one, if I have to figure out if the last one is, uh, is a duplicate, then I have to, yeah. Um, let me see. So I think I might not be understanding like a question, like, or entirely in terms of like, uh, specifications, uh, but um, yeah, yeah, something to say. Yeah, like it was a question, a clarification actually. So, like, I was question was saying like, um, in terms of how much duplicates like in this list, like, how many duplicates do we have for like one file? Like uh, a linked list, a linked list. Yeah, it can have, for example. So are you saying a linked list shouldn't like, uh, the question is it asking if a linked list shouldn't allow? Uh, no, it, like it's asking, would you, like, let's say given a linked list and yeah. uh, how many duplicates can it have? Like it can have a number, let's say maybe um, we've had like that's how of value three, like they can be of any number. It could be even the whole list having like, yeah. Had, Okay, yeah, so in that case, I mean, like I was thinking that maybe like iterating through the whole linked list, like you can, you can have like a list, like initialize it to an empty list and then for every head, like if it already appears in the, in the list, then you skip it, you move to the next, but if it doesn't, then you append it and move to the next, like that's how probably I would come up with an unduplicated linked list perhaps. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely, because like most of the time, like if you have uh, all these, like, you know, those questions where you have to kind of remember, like, you know, the, the state of, um, you have to remember the state of the other previous thing. Like, you know, that one thing which has to come into mind is like, oh, hashing. For example, like, oh, how can you like, uh, yeah, keep store? For example, of, uh, maybe some, yeah, I don't know, maybe like you have some hash map, which is like you know storing some information. Like, usually, uh, solving some of the like a problem with linked lists or anything, you might have to rely on some other like for example data structures. For example, what Proud just said, like you know, using another like uh, linked list, you can like use them or even use another link list also to to help us yeah, solve the problem so i think i will i might also look uh uh for a question which might ask uh, the dummy yeah the dummy or the duplicates and include it uh, in your questions for this week that would be an, a bonus point uh your question yeah yeah andrew said or can't use a dictionary yeah, I think, yeah, that's it. Like, for example, like a dictionary basically like implements this, uh, you know, the, like the hashing uh, part of like, you know, either you have a uh, kind of, you know, this key value pair, keeping track of something. Because that's like, if you have uh, uh, N, N nodes and then you want to, to figure out if there's no way, like you have to basically like, know through like you know, the entire like uh, again either iter iterate through the entire uh, list and that should take you time or you can just like as you go through the entire list you can be storing some information for example what Andrew said in a dictionary that's you no know, that's the that's a hash map you know, and like remembering so like for example now if you want to check for duplicates then you just know that 
uh, querying from um, you no know, querying from uh, querying from a querying from a from that link list. You just go to, to your dictionary and then it will you can get whether that is there like you know in like maybe like content time. And then from there you can uh, if for example now you want to remove or that duplicate uh depending also on your choice of data structure sometimes uh using a double link list uh would work for example like if um let me go through this let's say uh you were at not uh, 17 okay and then uh okay maybe let's say the, ne the next node uh okay let's say you you somehow find find out that this node is a is a duplicate and as you are going through the list maybe let's say you, you want to you want to remove it um mostly if you would want to like make some changes you might have for example like you know another pointer like if this is the list you might just have another name or pointer which points to the list which you can use to traverse through that list um so now based on like for example if you want to remove this one what removing it means you know you are connecting this one to the next one so you can also basically just do that uh if you verify that oh it's a duplicate you, know, you can just um yeah if this is a duplicate you can just access the previous so now that's uh, where you can like the advantages of using a double link list uh, compared to uh, a single link list. I think I had a double link list here. That you know, this basically is for the previous, and this is what for the next. Basically, you can like access you know the previous or the next one in the sequence. That those ones are like for example, this choice of a link list might help in solving that problem uh in a way that won't cost much time okay yeah okay um yeah so i think let me introduce the the stack and the queue um and then like most of the problems through like solving you know implementing so many things on the next day to like go through them mostly in office office hours or through like you know the next discussion session and then um yeah okay we are running out of time okay okay so uh if we look at uh, a stack uh, so stack uh it says it implement you know like this um yeah stacks are okay just think of it you know you use this uh so it says last in uh first out so it's a data structure uh where you know like uh uh you know the yeah where it's supposed to basic operations, basically like uh, the operations. Uh, there are two of them. You can either push or pop. Okay. So now you can just think of a stack as just something you know, like, uh, think of it you know, as a pipe you know, closed uh, on one end. What you can do is the the last thing to put in is the first thing to put up, you know, to to take out. For example, if I were to to first put this one here, and then so I put something in a stack by using push, and then uh, okay. And then now, if I were to call like uh, stack dot pop, what it does is, you know, it removes, it just removes the top element. 
Okay. And then uh, now you know the stake might also include, for example, uh, another operation which we might add is, for example, pick. Sometimes you don't want to, you don't want to remove just the top, but you just want to see what the top is. So you can just pick. So pick will tell you what the top element is, but it doesn't actually remove it from the stack. So pop uh, removes it from the stack, and then push puts it uh, inside the stack. So what happens, for example, if uh, you have, um, you know, if if stack is empty, and then you try to pop, you know, like, uh, you know, yeah, pop, uh, you know, you can just you know, return, you can just return like none. Like, you know, there's nothing, or you can just throw an exception based on how you know, you, you decided to like to implement it. Okay. So uh, remember that like, uh, okay. So if you implement a stack, so you can use actually a linked list, you know, to make a stack. So what was the time complexity for what that, uh, does it cost to push? So to add something, you know, to a, to, a, to a stack, you don't have to remember what else was added. So pushing, uh, pushing this takes constant time. And then popping, just removing an element, it also takes a like, constant time and also yeah, uh, picking. That also takes a constant time because you know you don't have to it's independent of the by constant time i'm saying it's independent of the number of uh, elements which you might have uh, in your stack okay so uh so we say you know like just remember this you know like last in first out mechanism the stacks and, and, and queues, they are so important. Uh, even like when you're doing like uh, graph search, by just choosing, if you're using a stack or a queue, your algorithm can just you know, change to something uh, different. So just master them. You know, the last in is the first one to take out. Okay, so yeah. So, okay, so what other like uh, libraries are there? You can also like find, uh, you know, you can also find uh, the length of a stack, you know, it will tell you the number of elements uh, yeah, in the stack. And then, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so let me then uh, introduce like um, a queue. Okay, so a queue, uh, it's first in, first out. So a queue is like you know you can think of it as the the opposite of a uh, of a stack. So just uh, say first in, first out. So the difference is a stack uh, has this bottom uh, side is sealed at the bottom. A queue is actually not, it's end. So just think of it as if you put something here, it comes out here when you want it yeah, yet to come out. So you can just like, um, yeah, you can, for example, uh, the operations which are the operations which are yeah, which are supported for you know for for which are supported for yeah for for a queue so uh some of the like the questions which they might ask you uh in interviews between stacks and queues uh, i think i'll ask you also like i'll ask this one um, interviews, maybe like, 
how can we implement uh, a stack API but using a queue? So some of those questions there, like, okay, maybe we can use two queues to implement, you know, a stack API. For example, like if you want to push an element or to pop, it's kind of like the interviewers, they ask you more things related to this. Um, basic operations just to see because the reason why we use them is we know that we can like get you know these desired effects in a like, constant time so yeah questions 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 If people have no questions, people understand everything. Arnold, Arnold is the one who asks questions. Uh, no, I don't have a question. Okay, okay. So like, yeah, let me just like, uh, okay. So with Q, uh, Q has, uh, you know, as also like uh, the operations for a queue, um, they just like, you know, we have like uh, NQ, how do you spell Q? Okay. So it can be like, you know, Q.NQ and Q.DQ. Okay. So like, uh, you know, like sometimes you might be solving a, a, a quite, a question with an interviewer, you know, then they'll, you're like, oh, I want to, I think I can use a queue. Then like, okay, they won't ask you to like sometimes to implement the entire queue. They can just say, okay, I assume you can like just import one which is already defined. Then you should just know how to use, you know, this operation that, okay. Uh, and queue means you add something in here. Okay. And then DQ, you take something from the bottom, you know, so the first in, the first one uh, to go out. So the most uh, recently inserted element uh, is referred to as the, the back or the tail. So here that's you know, like the tail, and then this is the, the head or something, just like you know, different ways and doing different languages, you know, how people decide to, to name these things. But these are the main two basic operations. Okay. Any, 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 any questions? So maybe let's see if, uh, you know, we can just try uh, defining uh yeah a class like Q. let's see how it might look like okay so let's say if you have a Q, you know we have to first initialize uh okay so you know let's say you are just initializing the Q. you know so you can for example like say uh, you know, like, um, yeah, let's see. So you can, um, you can have, for example, like a way, maybe you can implement it using, for example, a linked list. Even, you can even implement this, you know, by even like using a list or using a linked list or like the Python list basically is if you decide to use a Python list to store, for example, the elements in your queue, then you would know that, okay, oh, maybe like adding or like, um, like adding or uh, adding to the end or taking the first, the first one, like, um, you know, the operations, you know, but then that has to be optimized because 
actually the Python list specifically. Removing an element takes n time because you have to, it's mentioned that you have to start shifting element or shifting the bits. Sometimes you might also have to deal with like resizing arrays. So if you have, for example, like you want to represent this as um, maybe let's say some sort of a, yeah, a linked list, you know, you can like, um, you can initialize, uh, for example, okay, let me, yeah, I'll provide you guys the part, initialize a linked list. Okay, so now uh, how you can initialize a linked list, maybe if, in, if it's a double linked list, you then know that the operations which you might have for NQ, uh, no, I don't think we are NQ to be, okay. And then you're also like, um, you also like you know, have DQ. So, yes. So at any time when we are like told to implement, for example, like an API for this, what they'll be looking for is whatever choice of stretch of data structure which you use here, it will still support these operations for you to like execute them in constant time. For example, this one. So uh, sometimes you know, uh, people they can choose, maybe you can choose a Python list, but then it's also good to know the runtime, you know, just removing an element from a Python list, for example, if I just say like, this is two, three, four, and five. If I want to insert uh, at index three, you know, or maybe let's say, let me say I want to insert it in this too. And what runtime does it take? So like also knowing uh, the runtime for the basic, uh, like the Python list or the dictionary is good because like, for example, with the Python list, uh, you know, you might just get to know like, okay, for example, with DQ, with, a, with NQ, it wouldn't be a problem because you have, you'll just be adding to the end of the list. But then with DQ now, we have to remove something at the beginning of the list and removing uh, an element in a Python list, you know, it takes much time. But then if you had a linked list where you had uh, two, it still you know, like looks like a, a list. And then you had four, and then you had uh, five, okay. And then now, if you want to add something still, uh, if you're using a linked list to represent your queue, uh, adding or take what will take a uh, constant time because it's just like creating a new node, you know, giving it a value and then saying, let this node point to that. That's what it means by NQ. And then to DQ, uh, what you want to do, like if this is your your linked list, so um, if this is the linked list, then you might uh, now have, for example, like uh, this uh, linked list can just uh, get, we know that it points to this uh, head. Okay. So you can now get, uh, let this linked list point to it to this one, okay. So one of the other like, uh, 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 the, the maximum thing which you can get uh, by just like, you know, all this, it builds up from a linked list. Now, if you have a linked list where, you know, it's a uh, way, so you have a linked list, which points to the first, but then also, somehow it's cyclic that this one also can remember what's at the, you know, the previous one, it cycles around. So, uh, and uh, usually 
this should be you know, some sort of also like a, a double uh, linked list. You know, so by building, for example, like thinking of having a double linked list, uh, and also each some sort of the idea of a linked list started with just a single linked list, but then uh, because sometimes we want to you know make this specialized uh, executions, then someone was like, oh, let's have a double link here so that you can remember like a previous or a next. And then now, for example, uh, in like trying to use a link list as a queue, you know, so that, okay, let's make our double link list to be cyclic, uh, to be cyclic, you know, yeah, as well, so that you can basically go around. The first one, I can, it's easier to go to it to the last one and it's also easier to go back to get to the to the first so that if i want to remove the last it won't take me all this time to actually go through the, yeah all the elements i like that and i think that's what maybe arnold was also like maybe referring to by the use of dummy of dummy nodes or dummy pointers so that's and so Okay, so um, I know like uh, I can't uh, fully squeeze in the fully squeeze in like all the maximum like uh, explanation of linked lists, stacks, and queues because that in a normal school calendar, you know, it's something which might take uh, a couple of le of lectures and sessions to work through that so but we can achieve most of it through working through problems and also asking questions either you ask questions to your other classmates or your research online or you come and ask me on office hours so any questions any questions okay yeah, no questions. So uh, after this, um, um, I'm just uh, releasing a problem set one uh, on uh, on Facebook. I'll tell you on the WhatsApp chat when you'll be able to submit. But yeah, I think I said like people that you submit by tonight. So you know. And I'll be here after this to help people who are stuck on, uh, so, you know, on some of the problems on how to attend them. Um, yeah, and then um, also like tomorrow, I'm also I'm releasing. Um, as soon as this one is due, uh, when it passes, I'm releasing uh, the problem set two uh, for this week. So. The previous week, uh, people didn't reach out to me that much, you know, for help. So these questions, they are very, very hard. I, I get the, the most difficult of the questions because I know uh, what I want is, I want the questions to push you out of your comfort zone. So I would know, for example, by giving you uh, the question on, uh, for example, number three, which was focusing on on uh, maybe like, or, or for example, like let's, if I, let's take number five, for example. Uh, I knew that by solving number five, you know, you, you get stuck and then you have to like, you know, research and then you would like know about the sliding window problem and then you know about maybe the different ways of hashing, maybe using the rolling hash function, you know, how you can basically like, extract you know like match the duplicates in some kind of you know in that dna sequence and all so i i knew that okay like that problem can force you to like learn some of the things which you might not uh discuss because you don't have all the time to discuss them here so those problems they're hard so if you can start reach out to me or to any of your classmates and then like you can know, always set up time and then we can like work through this problem together. So you don't have to like figure 
everything out. If you find that it's two hours and you are stuck uh, on a problem, then it's uh, it's time to, to ask for help. So ask for help, uh, I'll be there. And then um, also after like releasing a problem set, I'll just release um, uh, slots uh, for first uh, mock interview. Okay, first mock interview. Oh, in Python. Yeah, I'll test in Python. Uh, the first time you'll be all you all be interviewing with me. So we'll just like send you a link online. You can join for four to five minutes. Four to five minutes. Uh, technical interview. Interview. So there might be an, an option, for example, just to get to know you know the person more. I'm interviewing more. You know, there can be an option where you can upload uh, your resume just to get a sense of of where you are, like you know, uh, in in com site. So you can upload your resume. Um, yeah, and I think I should. Uh, you can remove your GPA or like sensitive information. Yeah, we don't really care about that. You know, so just like, so yeah, what you just want to see, want to see, okay, the schools, maybe some classes you should have taken, and just the general like outline, yeah, of your resume. So right now, I think, yeah, it's almost like it's an hour, 30 minutes. Uh, for the Sunday lectures, won't be doing the two full hours, we'll just be introducing. Sometimes it might take 30 minutes or sometimes an hour, but won't go more than 90 minutes. So um, ending this lecture, but people, you can like reach out to me if you need help finishing problem, this one. And also, yeah, or if you have other questions which you might have. So thank you very much.